certainly this this one in particular has you know come to my liking and uh, you know but without a good car it, it wouldn't have been possible so I'm thankful that uh, you know the car really was hooked up and made my job easy I just had to be consistent and, and run my line and work through traffic and stay out of trouble and that was exactly what we did and uh, you know I'm just happy to, to be on top once again. The restarts really, uh, you know, I just wanted to, the whole race is my goal was to push hard for four or five laps, build the gap, and then manage it, and have just have the risk be completely in my control. So that's what the plan was, and especially in the beginning, we had a really good opening lap, and we were able to stretch out a nice gap. So that last restart stage gave me a, a little run for my money, but once the tires uh, came back in, it was just, you know, right back to where we were and just nice and consistent and pulled away. So. Uh, you know, at the end of the race, we were only we were running lap times only two tenths off our fastest, so I'd say like the car was pretty darn good. You know, when I walked down under the tunnel there, right at the edge of the track, I stood there for a couple of minutes and watched you guys, and it's apparent you guys are really hauling the mail out there, and it's not as apparent from up here. But when you get down to track level, does it feel fast in the car? Does it all feel kind of logical and normal? And uh, I mean. It's definitely fast. It feels fast, but you know it, it's it's definitely logical. I love the car, love this track, and uh, you know this car is a really nice balance for this place. It's not too slow and it's not too fast, um, but it's certainly a tricky place to pass. It, you don't realize how fast you're going until you try to pass somebody and you're wheel to wheel. Then you're like, oh shoot, we're going, we're zooming pretty good here. So, so that's when you really feel the speed. When you're by yourself, it, it's not as apparent, but when you get around other cars, it certainly uh, you know pops up in your mind. Car and Daily raced with Junkos in 2010. Yes. He went to Europe and also hit this way and as far as I want to go to GPQ and the media one. Are you following or planning to follow a similar route or you want to stay in America? I'd s I mean, everyone would like to go to Europe, but as far as my goal right now, I want to make it to the Indy 500. I want to be an Indy car. I want to be beating, you know, competing here in North America and, and bringing it to all the guys that are up there right now. I want to take down Dario. I want to take down Will Power. I want to take down all those guys. So that's my goal, and I'll be working hard to get there. Good start. Thank you. Anyone else? Is there anything you can really take from this race to Iowa? Absolutely. I mean, tire management, uh, you know, I know the cars going to be good there because they've been very successful there in the past. Um, and just the whole mentality of, of, you know, oval racing, it certainly is a, a different different animal uh, as far as, you know, race pace and all that kind of stuff. And, but, you know, there again, and the cars can be a big factor. So as long as we keep working as hard as we did this weekend, and that's what really made this this victory. Um, you know, this is probably one of my favorite wins I've ever had because during the uh, the testing here not too, only a couple weeks ago, you know, we were we were struggling. We were like three tenths off, and we, we had to go back to the drawing board and work as a team. And my engineer and I sat down and went through the car and found areas to improve on, and we came back and, and put a whooping on them. So that that's uh, definitely a good feeling. Congratulations.